Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. At this point, we're all moved over to the new invoicing in QuickBooks Online. Some people need to use progress invoicing and want to know how that's going to look in the new invoice format. So I thought we just put together a quick video and I can show you. I'm going to start by going to plus new in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to make an estimate. So I just want to go to the estimate. I'm going to use demo customer. Let's go 1124. Get past all the, the nonsense um, services. Coolest service ever. And it's $1,000. So I save my estimate. Um, it's pending. I'm going to pretend that my client approved it. I'm like, okay, cool. It's all approved. Um, I want to get out of this. Um, cancel, save. All right. So in real life, like maybe the approval happens right then. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it happens later. But the invoice definitely happens later. So make believe it's now later and you're ready to make your invoice. We're going to click on plus new. We're going to go to invoice and we'll just say, okay, who's our invoice for? It's for demo customer. QuickBooks is like, hey, you've got an estimate over here and I can select add. Well, that's great. That adds the whole estimate. And I'm like, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do like 50% do a progress. And I'm like, okay, let me close this. Pretend like it didn't happen. Leave without saving. To turn on progress invoicing, I'm going to go to the gear. I'm going to go to account and settings. This always takes longer than you expect. I'll click on sales. Um, and then I can just search progress. Sometimes I can find it quickly, but other times, even though it's recorded and you're not really watching me, I'm like, oh no, they're watching me. Instead, I just use Command F to find it. I'm like, oh right, it's down here. It's currently off. I'll turn it on. You have to update your invoice template. Fine, update it. So I click save. It's now turned on. I click done. No big deal, right? Like if it wasn't turned on, we can turn it on just that quickly. So I go back and I make an invoice. Cross my fingers, it'll work this time. So I go to demo customer and I want to add, and this is the progress invoicing part of things. It says, do you want to enter a total for each line? No, that's the whole point of doing this. Do you want to do a percentage for each line or a manual entry for each line? And I want to do a percentage. So um, I want to do, let's do 10%. So copy to invoice. So it says 10% um, of $1,000, which is 0.1 when converted to decimal, 0.1 times 1,000, my estimate equals $100. I can send this off like normal. Let's imagine that I, I wanted something different. Like I wanted a different percentage. I can change it there. 50%, um, no problem. Or if I'm like, eh, the percentages are too hard. I want, I want to just pick the number. Well, then I can just pick the number. I want $358. Well, no problem. So you have options. You can do whatever makes you happy. Um, right now it is 1238. So we'll do $123. I was trying to do something more crafty than one, two, three, but here we are. So I will pretend, okay, I'm just going to do a save. Um, oh, save and close. I'm so used to saving clothes being behind the green button that I get lost when I can't find it. So we, we made one invoice. Let's go make another. The first invoice, we added it from the estimate and we wanted to use a manual entry. And so this, um, how many dollars? And we'll say $30. Or we can say, oh, you know what? I actually would rather have percent. And I want 30% or I want 40%, right? I, I don't think it matters what you pick on that earlier screen because you can still toggle right here and just change it. So let's do that and let's do a save and close. So we'll go to the customer profile and then I'll let you go. 
So we'll go to demo customer and we can see what's happened here. We have this estimate, which is accepted. And then we have this invoice followed by this other invoice. L let me just open up this estimate, uh, click on edit. I, I want you to see kind of like what's happening right now. We have an estimate for $1,000. We've invoiced 523 of it and there's 477 remaining. If you're curious which invoices go to this and you didn't just make it for a demo for YouTube, you could go to the upper right hand corner and click on the blue hyperlink that says linked invoices and it will let you select each of your linked invoices. When you're at the invoice, you can go backwards by clicking on link transaction in the upper left hand corner. So what's linked? Oh, you can't. It's not clickable. <laughs> Let me just scroll down and see if there's a clickable. Um, can I? Oh, OK. I feel like it would have made sense to make it clickable here, but it's not. However, you can click on the little chain link and that will take you to your estimate. So this is a combination of me teaching you a thing and me learning where to click to find the things that I want. If you have questions, if you have ideas for videos that you want to see me put together, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. If you need help with your bookkeeping or you need one-on-one -on -one training with me, you can reach me at gentlefrog.com. Thanks.